Hi, I'm Happy Kelly, and here's how I made this video. Mark two spots on the ground, splitting the frame into thirds. Make sure to leave some space on either side of the markers so that you aren't getting cut out of frame when standing on them. Film yourself stepping onto the first marker and throwing a shirt onto the other marker. Next, film yourself standing up on that marker and throwing a shirt onto the first marker. Then change into that outfit. Repeat several times. Import your footage into Adobe Premiere Pro. Find the frames before each shirt hits the ground and put the next clip there. Using the masking tool, cut out the parts of each new clip to lay on top of the previous one. Enable keyframes on the mask path in the effects control tab. This will allow you to change the shape of the mask over time. Make sure the action all stays within the mask. Feather the mask by clicking and dragging the hollow circle attached to the border of the mask. Repeat the masking process for each of the outfits, making sure to keep all of the action inside the mask. The masking tool in Premiere is really powerful. Finally, add some camera bounce at each transition to really sell it. Select all the clips in your sequence and nest them. This will allow you to apply movement to the clips all at once. You can see that the clip moves as you adjust the position. Moving it up and down over a few frames will make it look like the camera bounces, which will hide the transition. This is what the bounce looks like compared to no bounce. Once you've added the camera bounce, the video's ready. Thanks for watching. Click the link in bio to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro.